Okay, now we're to Chapter 5C, U.S. Central Bank History. All money for a particular country originates with what is called a central bank. A central bank can either be government owned or privately owned. Our Constitution mandates that our country's central bank be government owned and therefore benefits our citizens instead of a small group of greedy men. There has been a tug of war between the U.S. citizens and the Illuminati since the inception of our country over who got to issue our nation's currency and the power has changed hands between the government and the Illuminati several times. The Bank of the United States, 1816 to 1836, an early attempt at a privately owned central bank, was abolished by non-Illuminati puppet President Andrew Jackson, who believed that it threatened the nation. Quote, the bold effort the present bank had made to control the government, the distress it had wantonly produced, are but premonitions of the fate that awaits the American people should they be deluded into a perpetuation of this institution or the establishment of another like it." Unquote. Andrew Jackson, who the Illuminati attempted to assassinate over his abolishment of their central bank scam. Abraham Lincoln, although it is never taught in our corrupt public school system, fought a legendary battle with the Illuminati bankers during the Civil War over who was going to issue the money to fight the war. Lincoln followed the Constitution and issued money through the federal government, allowing him the financial power to win the war and save our country. Quote, the money powers prey upon the nation in times of peace and conspire against it in times of adversity. The banking powers are more despotic than a monarchy, more insolent than autocracy, more selfish than bureaucracy. They denounce as public enemies all who question their methods or throw light upon their crimes. I have two great enemies, the southern army in front of me and the bankers in the rear. Of the two, the one at my rear is my greatest foe." Unquote. Abraham Lincoln, who the Illuminati did assassinate for defying them. The power to issue our nation's currency fell back into the hands of the Illuminati with the creation of the privately held Federal Reserve System in 1913, and this is where we will pick up the story of central banking in the United States. Okay, so that's the end of that little short chapter. Next time it is the um, fairly long chapter on the Federal Reserve System. You know, there's, there's a lot of different ways to look at what you dig up on Abraham Lincoln. Um, and suspending the Constitution, uh, the whole war in general. <clears throat> it's really kind of murky, but uh, we, we need to also be aware that <clears throat> whatever we find on both Abraham Lincoln and Andrew Jackson, they have been demonized by some of the brightest men uh, or people throughout history that work for the bankers. I mean, anybody that has ever took a stand against the bankers gets demonized and a lot of times they get killed um, so you know you can do some digging there and um, see what you think as far as your opinion about Abraham Lincoln Andrew Jackson but uh, always keep in mind the demonization okay so that's it for this and I'll uh, pick up again with the Federal Reserve System